Hey everyone, I'm Sigari. I stream as Erlane on Twitch, and I'm sure that you've seen me on different ads on YouTube, Facebook, and other places. I'm really glad you're here. Today, I'd like to talk to you guys about commissions. Commissions are one of, if not the best, way to earn consumable resources while you play Azur Lane. Let's begin by going to the commissions screen. So once you're on the world map screen, you can click commissions down in the corner of your screen here. Up on the screen, you'll see your daily and your urgent commissions and how many commissions you can run. You can expand the number of commissions that you can do by completing stages on the world map, up to a maximum of four. As you unlock additional commissions, you're, you can put ship girls into these commissions and they run for a set amount of time. When the commission completes, you get these things here and the ones with the tildes in the middle, you get about between 140 to 220 gold in this case and between 140 to 220 oil. Uh, four to seven decor tokens and then you have a chance to receive a wisdom cube. So as these commissions run, your girl, your ship girls are unavailable because they're out on commission. So make sure that you send girls that you do not need for leveling or events or anything else that you're doing to the commission. There are different types of commissions. Uh, your daily commissions are going to be the staple of each commission that you run. And as you complete commissions throughout the day, you will get longer commissions and different commissions. So, so for example, here we have the fleet exercise, which gives no gold, oil, or decor tokens, but it does have a chance to receive a wisdom cube. Now, the priority of running these commissions should be up to you, depending on what you want to prioritize. If you're short on wisdom cubes, you might want to run these two commissions. But if you're doing okay on wisdom cubes, it might behoove you to run the daily resource extraction instead. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk more about optimizing those in a little bit. But those are the daily commissions. Now let's move to the urgent commissions. Urgent commissions have a chance to occur and show up in your list every time you spend oil. That can be anywhere. That can be whether you spend oil on a daily or if you spend oil on the world map, you will see a chance for a commission to pop up. These commissions only last a certain amount of time before they disappear from the list. So if you want to take advantage of a commission, be sure to check the time and then figure it out so you have time to run the commissions that you want to run. For example, this commission here, Cargo Defense 1, is going to expire in 30 minutes. I'm probably not going to do this commission because it doesn't give me much that I need right now. Uh, there's other commissions down here. This one will expire in a minute and then it will disappear from the list. Depending on what the commissions give you will probably depend on, will, will probably make you decide whether you want to do a commission or not. So for example here, we can see that this one hour commission gives us some oil and some decor tokens and also a blue chance for a blue box. That's good. It does give oil and decor tokens where our dailies right now, we don't have a lot of options. And because it's an urgent, it receives slightly higher priority. So that might be one that we want to do. Uh, now, if we're speaking to the importance of commissions and commissions that you should run over other commissions, we can start with a general tier list, I guess, of commissions. Uh, gems are only bought through the cash shop and you get them for completing map stages three stars your first time. Gems obviously have a lot of value. You can use them to buy things like expanded uh, dorm slots, more food space, uh, more dorm or more dock space, etc. So those should definitely be prioritized in my opinion over anything else. Uh, we have a little bug here, so we're gonna back out and go back in. So I definitely grab these the, the, any chance that I can. It seems that the chance to receive gems is pretty low. So you, you know, if you don't get gems, don't feel discouraged. You had the chance to receive gems, which I think is the most important thing. The next most important ones, in my opinion, are anything that gives oil and gold. Oil and gold is the most important currency in Azure Lane, because without oil and gold, you can't do a whole heck of a lot. I always try to prioritize oil and gold uh, commissions whenever I can. And you'll see here that I'm running an oil and gold commission up here and that the rest of my daily commissions are not running because I'm running three urgent commissions right now or two urgent commissions. I have one available. Uh, anytime that I can get oil, I go for it. I just go for it. And we're going to run this commission now. So to run a commission, there are different requirements for running the commissions. This one requires that I have at least one level five ship 
and then I must have at least three ships in the commission to run it. And then there are certain requirements for what ship types you can have. And submarines aren't even in a in NA yet, so that was interesting. So level five minimum requirement, you'll note that if I put in these ships, it won't light up because it says have at least one level five ship. If that's red, it's not met. So we'll take that out and we'll put in a uh, level five, a few level five ships here. Okay, so now everything is green, so we can actually start the commission. Note, some commissions cost oil. Uh, the commissions that cost oil are generally going to be anything that gives you items in the urgent commission. Uh, daily commissions generally do not cost oil with a few exceptions. So let's hit confirm. And then that starts the commission. So now all my fleets are out on commission. Uh, going back to the tier list, because I know we kind of went off there. Oil, gold, gems, most important. After that, I would be aiming for decor tokens, also very important. Keeps your girls happy in the dorm. If you're full up on dorm happiness and you don't need any more, then I would start looking to resources. Uh, books are important. If you get a chance at a gold book, so gold gold in the background like this, I would, I would hit that definitely. Sometimes you get those as nightly commissions. They'll show up. Uh, and we'll talk about nightly commissions in a little bit. And then also plates. Plates are also very important. If you get a chance at plates, you should take you should take it because plates help level up your gear. Wisdom cubes, I would probably put in a high regard if they come along with other things. You get plenty of wisdom cubes from doing dailies and other uh, sources of play. So unless you're rolling a lot, I wouldn't really go for the I really wouldn't go for the wisdom cubes. Um, and then the other things that drop are boxes and drills. Again, you're going to get plenty of these from farming. If they come along with something, sounds good, go for it. Otherwise, I'd forget about it. Uh, and then drills are quick finishers. Not, again, not super important. You get a couple from dailies. You will get plenty of these just from doing dailies that have good resources in them already. Believe me. Okay, so there's another type of daily that comes up in the evening and those are called the nightly dailies uh they come up and they they populate your your daily timer with a whole bunch of dailies that take about between six to eight hours i think uh these dailies are usually chock full of experience sometimes they've got a lot of resources you can get hundreds of gold from them and also they come along with the chance for gold books gold boxes things like that you want to run those they start at 10 o'clock p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So when that pops up, you're going to want to grab them. That's 1 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Grab those uh, because they have really great things and you're going to be asleep. Hopefully you're going to be asleep. Uh, if you're not sleeping, I wish you luck at whatever you're doing. But yeah. Um, so let's talk about daily organization. I try to run long dailies first so that then I have short dailies in the middle of my day to run. Uh, because what will happen is, as you continue getting dailies, your dailies will get longer. Now, if I'm going to bed at about 10 o'clock, 10, 10 to 11 o'clock, I'm gonna wanna time my dailies so that they start coming out around that time so that I can set up my nightly dailies and then go to bed. Uh, I hope that you do that too. You don't wanna be stuck with dailies that last eight hours when your nighttime dailies pop up you're going to have daily congestion and you won't get anything good. So try and finish off those dailies as soon as you can. Longest dailies first, leave the short dailies for last. Finally, we'll talk about the big oil, big experience daily. There's a big oil daily that every player has, depending on the level of your profile. Uh, your profile level is the level in the top left corner. Uh, it's the level that you are as a player uh, on the home screen. So every day you're going to get these. These are available whenever they're not in use. That means if I did this daily, waited 10 hours and then came back, I would have another one. They take a lot of oil, but they give what seems to be a lot of resources. Now, there are some pluses and minuses to running this daily. The pluses are it gives you a ton of gold. I mean, you get so much gold. 4,500 gold, I don't think I could get from spending 1,200 oil on anything except for very low cost Zero limit broken fleets. I, it just, you, you're not going to get anywhere close. So the gold is a huge benefit. The other benefit, especially to players right now, as we can't reach chapter six because we're still in open beta and we haven't had our first patch yet, 
is the purple plates. That's a lot of purple plates, okay? And I've run this daily twice. Every time I have gotten over 30 plates, I've been really satisfied with this. Uh, and then you also get a lot of experience. So experience is great, uh, but it's not a lot of experience when it comes to how much oil you're spending. And I've done some math on it. We can touch on that. If you spent 1,200 oil running about a 20 cost fleet, you could expect to get 21,000 or more experience because of MVP bonuses. Also because of boss bonuses, 1.2x modifiers and stuff like that. There's so many modifiers that will give you a lot more experience by just doing maps. Additionally, you will get items, character drops, and other things that will come uh, from spending your oil on the map rather than spending your oil on the daily. So when should you run this daily, you ask? That's a great question. Run your run this daily when you're way over capped on oil and you can't receive any from the canteen or if you're going to be AFK from the game for a long period. Now, if you're going to be AFK from the game for a long period, I suggest that you be running commissions anyway. Still be prioritizing on your oil commissions so that you can still get a good passive income from your canteen and then you can also be getting your items. You know, commissions, the whole point of what we're talking about here with commissions is that they help you out. They give you resources that you need to continue being a great Azur lane player. Uh, so, depending on what level you are, this might look really good uh, or it might look really bad. It's up to you to decide. Now, there is one more commission that I didn't touch on, honestly, because I've only gotten it twice. Those are character dailies. They are launch ceremonies, okay? When you get a launch ceremony, you should rush to your commissions and check it out. Launch ceremonies have a chance, I believe it's a very small chance because I've never procced it, to give you a rare or an elite or maybe even an SR? I'm not sure. Uh, but if you get a launch ceremony, definitely run it for fun. Uh, if, if you feel that it's just not paying you out, you could skip it. But launch ceremonies are rare. It's a way to get a character. Uh, I don't actually know what's in the drop pool for that, but it's exciting anyway because you might get something that you never knew you wanted, or maybe you got a character that you needed a duplicate of for anything like that. You can't get SR ships from commissions. Okay. So, anyway, guys, that's been my little thing on commissions. Make sure that you're always running those commissions because commissions keep you going and you can always check to see how many commissions you've run maybe to keep up you know in competition with your friends or whatever by clicking on your profile link in the top left there and then it will show you how many commissions you've run uh, i've been playing since open beta released which was on the 20th of august i believe and i've run 316 commissions just always keep your commissions running anyway i'm sigari i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video on commissions if you are not already a follower on my Twitch channel, I would love for you guys to go and follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Sigari, and then be sure to uh, join us for that stream Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 p.m. Uh, we'll see you there. Thanks again, everybody.